Hi YouTube. Wanted to make a video about a issue I'm having on my 90 F350 with a 460. If any of you have a fuel injected 460, uh, 88 through 97, especially probably the older models, uh, maybe up through 92, 88 to 92. The problem I'm having, I recently picked up this awesome one ton cabin chassis 4x4. Uh, low miles, original condition. The problem I'm having is it'll be running down the road and start to start to jerk and hesitate like it's running out of fuel. And I thought it might be the fuel selector switch. And so I got uh, looking around and on this model truck with dual tanks, the rear tank has its own pump, the front tank has its own pump. They push fuel independently and there is no selector switch. When you hit the switch to forward, you're disengaging the rear tank, engaging the forward tank, and both those fuel lines come to a Y. And so, on the driver's side frame rail, it's kind of hard to see, but, uh, so it wasn't the selector switch, which I thought it was. What would happen is I'd be driving on the road, and I'd flip the switch from rear to forward, and it would be okay for a while, and then it would start jumping, and hesitating and like it was running out of fuel so uh, went down and got a fuel pressure tester gauge checked the fuel pressure I replaced the front fuel pump thinking that was a problem uh, still doing the same thing so I finally figured it out wanted to make a little video so for it if you'll come around So the problem I found that I figured out was the fuel pressure regulator. There it is right there. And I t did a test with the gauge and it looked like it was fine. I would undo the vacuum and the pressure would rise, put the vacuum, pressure would come back down. So I thought, well, I'll just try it and it totally fixed the problem. And so I just wanted to make a little YouTube video showing what it is. Also, I recommend using a OEM fuel pressure regulator, not buying one from Napa or O'Reilly AutoZone. I bought uh, this one on eBay, new out of the box for 26 bucks with free shipping. It was like $86 uh, my cost at the dealer. The tool you're going to need to replace it is a four millimeter Allen wrench. And I cut mine originally, it was about this long, and you know, the front was about up to here, and I cut it off so that you can get in there. And I wanted to show you real quick how to do it. First thing you want to do is remove your air inlet tubes right here and this vacuum right here at the intake manifold. So you remove that clamp, these two clamps, pull those off. And then here at your air box, pull that thing out of your way. There's the fuel pressure regulator right there. And this little Allen wrench, the reason you cut the length off is for the back one. <clears throat> and I used a little pair of vice grips like this and got up under there and was able to turn it. And then I'd have to take it out and clamp it on and turn it again and get it broke loose. But it does work. And I'll just demonstrate here. You come up underneath it's kind of hard to see but what I'm doing is I'm the fuel pressure regulator sits like that and I'm coming up underneath like that to that bolt that back bolt and then um, you stick it in there and then you put your vice grips I, I got these little mini vice grips clamp those on and turn it and then there's three bolts and they come out from the bottom be very careful you don't drop them and then there's a little gasket right here <clears throat> and an o-ring super easy and simple to fix um, and uh, it totally fixed the problem another thing i want to point out is a few years ago i had a 90 f350 crew cab automatic 460 and it had a problem with running too rich and i took it to the dealer um, i couldn't figure it out it would give me a check engine light, but it was kind of a early stage computer on that truck <clears throat> and it wouldn't pinpoint what the problem was. Finally, the mechanic there just tried a fuel pressure regulator 
and it totally fixed it. And the symptoms that truck was having was it was running rich, puffing black smoke and uh, chug, chug, chugging, you know, and using a lot of fuel. And I could not figure it out. <clears throat> um, so I wanted to make this quick little video. If any of you have an early model 7.5 460 Ford that you just can't seem to figure out and it's just not running right, try a fuel pressure regulator. It's pretty cheap when you consider taking it to the dealer and having it diagnosed. And on this truck, it's a perfect example of why you should just try one of these because I could not figure it out. And uh, I replaced the fuel filter, the obvious stuff, the fuel pump in the front tank, it was still doing it. And it ended up being the fuel pressure regulator. So. Hope that helps somebody who uh, is having the same problem. Thank you.